Hello friends, this is the part 2 of the cross integral formula. Here we will discuss one example based on the first form which was told to you in the first tutorial. And uh, we will see an example involving two z zeros, both of which lie outside the contour. So let's begin with the example. So our example is integration along the closed contour c e raised to 2z upon z minus 1 z minus 2 dz where the contour is mod of z equal to 3. So here <coughs> we can see that again putting z as x plus iota y the in the equation of the contour we get x square plus y square is equal to 3 square so this is again an equation of the circle plotting the circle and the argon plane is a real axis the imaginary axis and uh, circle is centered at 0 comma 0 radius is at the radius is 3 so 3 comma 0 minus 3 comma 0 so now here we have two z zeros 1 and 2 both of which lie inside the contour that is 1 comma 0 as well as 2 comma 0 lie inside the circle so now we have to integrate this but first of all we know you have to know that we can't integrate all together this all together we can integrate only when there is one z0 if we have to apply Cauchy integral formula so now we will have to separate this into two parts so there's a trick how to do that we can write the question e is to 2z upon z minus 1 z minus 2 as a upon z minus 1 b upon z minus 2 uh, we have to write this we have to bifurcate this question into two parts involving each part where each part has one z zero so now we have to find the constants value a the value of the constants a and b so on cross multiplying we get e raised to 2 z is equal to a z minus 2 plus b z minus 1 here is the cross multiplication and the denominator was, will cancel out from both the sides so now this is the equation and we can put the value of z0 according to ourselves according to our convenience so uh, <coughs> putting z0 equal to 2 in this equation we z minus 2 will uh, become 0 and this will become e raised to 4 is equal to b so we get that the value of b is e raised to 4 now putting z equal to 1 in the above equation we get e raised to 2 is equal to this uh, z minus 1 will become 0 so minus a implies that a is minus e raised to 2 now we can put whatever value according to our convenience I'm sorry uh, we can put uh, values according to our convenience in the above equation uh, I would recommend you to uh, put small values of z in order to be on the fast so now the question can be written in this form where the value of a and b are given by this the value of a is minus e square and the value of b is e raised to 4 so now our question is translated in this form as integration of e is to 2z upon z minus 1 z minus 2 dz is to 
is equal to integration <coughs> of minus e square that is a upon z minus 1 plus integration of b upon z minus 2 that is e raised to 4 upon z minus 2 dz dz so now we can have these as individual questions so the solution to this is 2 pi i into f of z0 now here we can orally uh, we can simply see that the ez that the fz is e square so there is no value of z that can be put so which is uh, minus z minus e raised to square so the 2 pi i minus e this is square we can't put here z equal to z0 since there is no value of z accepted in the function this is a constant function so you can see the value of uh, the function is constant irrespective of the value of z0 we put so this is the answer of the first for uh, first part and the second part is 2 pi i into this is again a constant function so e raised to 4 so now we can combine it as 2 pi i is to 4 minus e square which is equal to 2 pi i e square e square minus 1 so this is the answer of the question so the important part here was just to bifurcate the question into two parts involving questions two constants and finding the value of the constants so this was uh, example last example based on the first form of cos integral formula next uh, we can well next next tutorial we will see uh, one example based on the second form of the cos integral formula thank you